Hey guys, welcome back. In today's video, we're going to check out 20 games running on an AMD Ryzen 7 7840HS. We'll be aiming at a playable frame rate at 1080p, and all performance stats will be situated at the top right. Welcome to Team Pandori. Subscribe. The 7840HS is at the center of the GMK Tech Nubbox K6. We made a video review of this mini PC, I'll be using it for the game testing. We have an 8 core 16 thread CPU with a boost clock of 5.1 GHz. There's two sticks of crucial DDR5 5600 running in quad channel, and it also has the Radeon 780M GPU on board with clock speeds up to 2700 MHz. TDP is set to balance mode in the BIOS, which is 54 watts, and both Windows 11 Pro and the Adrenaline drivers are updated to the latest versions. In the Adrenaline software, all trickery will be set to off, and all graphic settings will display before the gameplay. So let's start with the first game, Fortnite. Whee! With these settings, the frame rate averages around 120. Both the GPU and CPU aren't really stressed, so you can probably bump up the resolution to 4K and have it playable. Rocket League. With settings set to high quality at 1080p, this chipset gives us over 100 FPS, giving us a very playable game. Dirt 5. At 1080p, medium settings, we're hitting from 40 to 60 FPS, which is pretty incredible considering this game is pretty brutal on the GPU. And here it is in 720p. Yakuza 6. We're joining Kiryu in this RPG brawler, and at medium 1080p, we're at a playable 50fps. If we knock it down to 720p high, it does push up to 80, but as this game's an RPG relying on text, 1080p is the better option. But remember, in this game, we can visit Club Sega and play some Puyo Puyo. Cyberpunk 2077. Again, this is a game that needs a lower resolution to get over 60, but if you want to stay in 1080p and don't mind dropping quality, you can switch FSR to Ultra Performance and get over 60 FPS.
Genshin Impact. High settings, full speed. Lethal Company. Even though I didn't know what was happening, this worked great. Right? Shit. Ikao Strike 2, the 7840HS surprises us by keeping a very playable frame rate in 1080p with high settings. Next up is Rise of the Tomb Raider. This one I've only just started, but I really need to get into it. League of Legends at the very high preset runs exceptionally good. With frame rates this high, you can play a League even at a competitive level. And it's Dota 2 with best looking settings on the Vulcan Renderer. Well be. I go as bid. Let it fall. As I will. Be it. Yeah! I'll break their wings. Very well then. Grid Legends sits in the same area as Dirt 5 when it comes to performance. It's certainly playable on 10 HP on a high, but if you require more FPS, we suggest lowering the resolution.
And who could resist a bit of a watch too? While Valorant doesn't need much in terms of hardware, I'm always hesitant to install it, due to that Riot Games launcher. Either way, the system can run it without issue. Even though we were aiming at 1080p, we slipped. Here's Hongai Star Rail, very high, at 4K. And we're at full speed. The Witcher 3 Wild Hunt is playable for an RPG with a frame rate just under 40. If we lower graphic settings to medium, it only helps a bit. So to get over 60 FPS, we need to lower that resolution. Run, Roach. Turn it to be high settings, and it's smooth sailing for GTA 5. Here's Ghostbusters Spirits Unleashed, and it's definitely playable, even though I don't know what I'm doing. So here we have the Tekken 8 demo, and on high graphics settings, it is playable, but we're just under 60 FPS. If we switch it down to medium, we get full speed. Dave the Diver totally blew me away with its simple but beautiful artwork, 
and its colour mix between exploration and management simulator is something that really tickles my taste buds. This system delivers its instant classic at full speed. We hope you enjoyed this video. If it's been helpful, please smack that like. And if you wanted to see any other games tested, pop it in the comment down below. This has been the Michigan Team Pandori. I'll catch you on the next one.